Welcome back in Bloemfontein. The Mangaung shutdown has interrupted vaccination rollouts from going ahead. Today, phase two of the COVID-19 vaccination rollout is supposed to kick off in 87 sites around the country. The group is calling for the disbandment of the Mangaung Metro Council for its failure to steer the metro in the direction of progress. Well, my colleague, ENCS Lindelo Masikane, is in the free state today, and currently she finds herself in Buputa di Chaba. Kwa, kwa. You've been up and about in different parts of the free state uh, since this morning, Lindelo Masikane, including Mangaung, where there was a problem earlier. You are now in Buputa di Chaba, in Kwa, kwa in the free state. Just before you tell us about what's happening where you are, just remind our viewers what else was happening like in places of Mangaung where there were slight delays earlier today. Well, it's been scenes of chaos um, in Mangawung. It's about three hours from Putaditaba. And what we understood by then was, of course, the uh, phase two of uh, vaccinations, the rollout, uh, was starting to today. Um, and the aim here in the Free State was to begin with senior citizens um, in old age facilities where they are um, gathered in groups. And so what we understood is that two vaccination sites um, had been identified this morning. Um, I'm at one of those, but the one in in Bloemfontein could not actually um, operate uh, from the early hours of this morning because of protest action uh, that saw the roads being barricaded um, as well as scenes of chaos that have been unfolding for most of the day today. And so uh, we found ourselves here in Puta di Chaba. Uh, this is what was supposed to be happening in Bloemfontein as well, where you can see scores of uh, grannies and grandpas, um, the elderly just coming out to get their COVID-19 jab. That is the Pfizer jab and what we understand um, is that uh, there was an aim of around 120 senior citizens um, to be jabbed today but they just came in their numbers I think we're sitting at over 200 now and uh, this is where they begin where they uh, get uh, um, observed uh, their blood pressure gets taken uh, they screened for uh, COVID-19 uh, they then brought down make their way through to this hall um, I'm just going to ask my colleague Muzeni to just <laughs> <laughs> move a little bit faster here with me. So they make their way through after being observed into uh, the facility in which uh, they will be getting their jabs. And the process, I must say, but then has been quite smooth uh, here in particular in uh, Putadi Chaba. And that is because I think most of the process, protest action that we've been seeing um, has been about three hours away. And so, as you can see, another facility has been organized where there are chairs for the elderly to be able to be seated. They've been fed. Uh, they're getting water. They're getting drinks. And once uh, they've been observed, they then make their way into this hall where their information is captured because the Pfizer vaccine um, is, a, uh, is, a, is a vaccination that requires them to come back. Their information, of course, is then taken and they then proceed to be vaccinated. But, Brad, I had an opportunity to speak to uh, the Premier for the Free State. Let's just take a listen to what she had to say around the protest action affecting the vaccination process. No, I just want to appeal to them, Hore. No, I don't think uh, they should continue to do that because we are here, we are prepared to, to, go, to come and discuss with them. And definitely, when I, immediately when I arrive in Bloemfontein on Wednesday, I will make a chance to meet with the, uh, the leaders and hear, Hore, what is their problem. We can't be doing shutdown now, you know, during this uh, COVID-19. It's very dangerous now for our people. Let's save our people. Let's save our people. You know, I had a word last week with the MEC for Health of the Free State, Metsiu, and she was very concerned about the numbers that were spiking, you know, and warning of a possible uh, third wave of, of the virus in the Free State. I wonder what she has to say today as the phase two of the vaccination rollout has begun in the province there. Of course, it's a matter of concern, but then, uh, especially because the province is now experiencing um, a lot of this, these protest actions, and that is affecting uh, the government's ability to be able to deliver those vaccines. We know that they have to be kept at a specific temperature, and so that is why in Bloemfontein, vaccinations just could not and did not take place. But we know that Free State, like Gauteng, is already in a third wave, but then we know that um, uh, we have around... 
94,000, more than 94,000 cases that have been recorded here in this pr province. We have over 4,000 deaths, and we know that recoveries are sitting at around 84,976, and the province has around 5,600 um, and 27 active cases. And a matter of concern is these spiking numbers that the province has been experiencing over the past couple of weeks. We understand that there's been um, hospital admissions um, and deaths have uh, increased for, um, at about 18% um, just over the past uh, two weeks or so. And so uh, when she spoke today, the MEC was appealing uh, for the residents of the Free State to continue observing uh, those uh, COVID-19 uh, protocols um, and appealing to the youth as well to stop, you know, engaging in these parties uh, where they seem to just uh, relax and um, not exactly follow these protocols to the T. Let's take a listen. Like Premier said, we, it's unfortunate that uh, in Bloemfontein today we could not continue with the rollout of the 60 years and above because as Free State we had prepared two vaccination sites. This one uh, Tekule along Old Age Home and Bihujo in Bloemfontein. Unfortunately, because of the shutdown and uh, people closing the roads, it was um, uh, impossible for us because we are not just going to vaccinate the people, the, the residents of the Old Age Home. We had others that would come from the luncheon clubs. Like you see here, it's not just the residents, even people coming from outside. So we thought, let's uh, hold uh, that uh, vaccination for now. We then uh, thought that tomorrow we are going to continue here again. Well, uh, let's thank you very much. Uh, There's Lindela Masigane in Putadichaba, Kwakwa, in the Free State, the MEC for Health of the Free State Medicine. We're ending that report now. Let's